Hello, welcome to lesson 9, Multidimensional and Jacked Array in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankur Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we'll learn what is multidimensional array and jacked array. Before jumping into the discussion, I would like to recall in the previous session, we learned how to create an array, how to store values in an array, and how to retrieve back values from an array. Now, we'll jump into multidimensional array. Before going to multidimensional array, Although one dimensional array is the most commonly used array in programming, multidimensional arrays are certainly not rare. And, and the definition is something like multidimensional array is a two dimensional series like rows and columns. For example, your int square brackets you can observe here. In the last session, we did not specify the comma, and in the multidimensional array, we have to specify the comma. Why? Because the comma indicates that a multidimensional array reference variable is created. So we have to specify the comma if you are creating a multidimensional array. And array name is int array and new int and the, this is the combination of rows and columns. That is three rows and two columns and I store the values in it. In the above example, as I said, you can observe multidimensional array is initialized by giving size of rows and columns. And 3 comma 2 specifies that three rows and two columns. But keep in mind, the simplest form of multidimensional array is two-dimensional array. So I created an array of two dimension that is three cross two. So now to understand this clearly, we'll jump into the next slide where it is diagrammatically explained. This is the multidimensional array as I showed in the, previ in the previous slide, int square brackets comma, comma specifies that a two-dimensional array, two-dimensional array reference variable is created. Using this comma, we can do the job. And this is the array name int array. And new keyword is used to allocate memory for the array. And number of rows are three and two columns. This is how it stores two columns and three rows. Now, to understand it very clearly, we'll jump into coding. I'll fire up Visual Studio. Here, I'm having a project, arrays demo. Here, I would like to show how do how will you create an array, how will you create a multidimensional array. To create a multidimensional array, first we have, have comma. Comma here specifies that a two-dimensional array a reference variable is created. Then I have to specify the array name and I have to use a new keyword to allocate memory for an array and I have to specify the dimension. Since I have taken three cross two in my example, so I would like to take the same thing. Once I've done this, my job, next job is to create, is to store values to an array of dimension 3 cross 2. So how to store values? I have to take the array name, print array, then I just ask where I have to actually store. Now, since the matrix is 3 cross 2, I have to store the values by using the indices, indices of the dimension, that is 0, 0, that is 0 throw and 0 column. So I'm using 0, 0, and the value I'm going to store there is 1. Similarly, I have to do for the rest phi also. It will see. It will be. Now, 0 throw and first column. First column and 0 throw. First column and Now, I would like to change the values here. Now, once it is done, once I have stored, in, it tells that int array 0 throw 0 column will be having this and 0 throw first column will be having this. Now, first row 0 column will be having this value. I have to change the values respectively. I am going to change here and 3 also. Similarly, now first row and first column what will be the value I am giving? I am giving it as 4. Similarly, second row and 0 column will be having value 5 and second row and first column will be having 6. This is this is what how do we store a values to a multidimensional array? We will use the indices of the matrix that is 3 cross 2. 3 rows and 2 columns and yes, I would like to explain this once again. 
here 0 through and 0 column will be having one value similarly second row and first column will be having sixth value now once i have initialized array and second job is i have stored values to an array now my job is to access back the values stored in an array i want those values to print it on the console how do i do that i'll use a for loop two for loops to do that work one for loop will iterate through rows that is three rows and one for loop iterate through columns that is two columns how do i do that i'll use for loop then i'll give the length of the row how many rows i'm having i'm having three rows so i'll give the specification of that similarly for i'll use j and the length of the column is two so i'll specify two here similarly i'll just remove this now I want to print them on the console, so I'm using console dot write console dot write. Then I have to use the array name in the array. Then I have to specify i and j. Why? Because i and j are the one, the variables i and j are the variables. They are the one who are iterating through the loops of rows and columns. So once I'm done with this, now I want console to wait for my order. So I'll just print print a console dot right line. Now once I've done this, I want to run the program. I'll press control F5. Here you can see it has three columns, three rows, one, two, and three, and two columns. So zero, one, zero, one, two. That is totally we have three rows, three columns, and Three rows and two columns. This is the example for multi-dimensional array. To make to make them appear very clearly, I'll just use now. You can observe it very clearly. That is three rows, one, two, and three rows, and three three columns. Two columns and three rows. One, two, and three columns. One and two. That is two rows. Totally, we, the dimension is three cross two. That is three 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 rows and two columns. This is an example for multi-dimensional array, and you can clearly observe here. We just did three steps. First, we created an array. Next, we stored values to an array, and the third step is we access back the values from an array. And the difference is we are we doing it for two dimension. Keep in mind you have to specify the comma if you are using two dimensional array. It is multi-dimensional array. I've taken the example of two dimension. Why? Because the simplest form of many dimensional array is the two dimensional array. Thank you. Please subscribe to Anco Training below. Have a great day.